felt alive in America, only, really, in the 60s. If you were an experimental artist in the 60s, Soho was one of the few places you could fully express yourself creatively. It was chaotic, yeah, and that scared a lot of people. But it was a time for great inventiveness and great relief. Warhol painted, Mecca's filmed, Lennon spoke for a generation. And in the theater, there was Richard Ford. Awesome. We never had the concession to the wider, even new audience. Now, our stuff was not um, beautiful. It just had a different uh, thing to it. It was very, like, homemade and tense. You know, it's almost like we, we wrote it for our 12 friends. I had a song that I wrote called Top of the Pop, and Richard directed it. Everybody's doing it, hopping to the pop, because it's hip to hop to the top of the pop. He's incredible, particularly for a guy who's been doing this for so long. He's like a little kid in his curiosity and his tenacity to keep on pushing things. When I saw Richard Foreman, what he was doing, I was totally, totally impressed. More than any director I can think of, he does recreate an acid trip, really. Some people hate it. The most, most people, the very first time they see his work, come out angry, or upset, or, or frustrated, or irritated. 10% of the audience would leave every night. Who knows even what the answer is, or what they're about, and don't even worry about it. Just take the ride and, and let it wash over you. One of the things I love about his things, they're very much like a dream. I saw Zomboid, and I didn't really know what to make of it. I left with a friend of mine, and we ended up getting a bottle of wine, brown bagging it, and walking like 60 blocks, and drinking and talking. I realized that the show somehow snapped me out of something, and woke me up. He's showing you a whole world, and there's some disturbing material going on in that world. There is no limit to imagination. Can't I have the courage to say, oh, art serves no purpose. I do it because I, like the birds, have to sing. I have to make my art. It really motivated you to work and making you believe in yourself. The world, in fact, waits and is hungry for your uniqueness. The you that is like no one else in the world. I still consider Richard the most interesting theater person that I have known in my life. I am for Richard 100%.